In this day and age, I think the thing to remember is that everybody's experiences stress in one form or another. We need to see where we are on the stress continuum, whether we are in a low stress situation where we've done things a thousand times, we know the job backwards and so we're not paying as much attention to what we are doing as we maybe should be, through to extreme stress where we may be operating at a level where we cannot perform as well as we should do because the workload is too high, we have too many things going on all at one time and cannot keep our eye on the ball continually. It's a matter of recognising when the pressure is on and dealing with it. If you think of juggling family commitments, workload, fatigue and all of those types of things, that's contributing to stress on the job. Ever turned up to work where you're just thinking about something from home, can't get it out of your mind? Guarantee performance is going to go down. It will not be at the ideal that you would like it to be. More importantly, what do you do about it? What you do need to do is have someone, I believe, that you can talk to about those issues. So, for example, that could be a peer, it could be a mentor, it could be family, or it could be a combination of both. But often, just talking about something that's on your mind can help prevent you and can help give you some support for making better decisions before you set yourself up into an ugly situation, particularly within our industry. What you do need to do in a workplace as well from a supervisory perspective and a peer is be looking for signs and symptoms of stress in others that work with you. And if you're detecting it, particularly with say a mood swing or someone's just not how they're normally, you know, on a day to day basis, if they're either a bit more withdrawn or they're overly aggressive, you need to start saying, and we've got the symptoms listed in the workbook, you know, is everything okay? Particularly if someone's about to launch themselves single pilot into, into an even more hostile environment.